So the waveform generator came in this plastic bag with all of the parts. They're really bad instruction, which doesn't help at all because you can't read it. The case came as well with all of the small parts or most of the parts were actually bent, but you could easily bend them back, which is yeah, okay, but not the best quality because of shipment probably. I used for instruction Instructables. They really had a good instruction for this IC and I would recommend it and I put it even in the description. Um, yeah, I built it on stream so you can watch it if you want to. Um, but I'm not happy with how it turned out and how it works. First, I want to say I'm not a professional. So everything I say, take it with a grain of salt. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to show what my problems are. Um, I took roughly two and a half hours um, to solder this job. Um, I think I did a relatively good job, but it still took ages, in my opinion. But it was a kit, so yeah. So the first things, these blue uh, potentiometer caps fit on there. They also rotate, but they don't really hold. Um, that's why for today I'm going to use these uh, other ones. Yep, now I can spin them and everything's fine. So I'm just going to connect the power source, which is 12 volts in my case. That's duty cycle, frequency, offset, and so amplitude. Yeah. You see nothing because the frequency is at 5 to 15 hertz, which doesn't mean it's 5 to 50. It just means it's roughly because there's a dead band in the center. So this is definitely slower than 5 hertz. But yeah, I mean, it's a bonus feature, but this isn't very precise. Um, so I'm just going to increase the frequency. Yeah, I don't know. So now we can see the square wave. I do you know what? I'm just going to change these two pins because I already set this up to measure, um, how's it called? Triangle wave. Oh my god, what happened? Oh yeah, that is normal. That's good. So there we can see um, the square wave, which does look good. Um, right now we are at, I don't know, 20, 20 hertz. I can measure it. Right now we are at 100 hertz which makes no sense because my thingy is between five and 50 Hertz, which yeah doesn't make sense. And as you can also see, if I change only the duty cycle, the frequency changes as well. These two A and B um, show the time of 10 milliseconds. So if it's like this, it's 100 Hertz. If it's closer, it is, I'm just going to do it as close as possible. It is at 125 hertz, at 50 hertz, which makes absolutely no sense. But yeah, okay. And now we can also increase the frequency with this knob. Does sign actually work? Or what? Because sign didn't work before. That's interesting. It's just similar. Wait, something works. That is wonderful. <sighs> what, what is it? I mean, now square wave is acts absolutely unusable, um, which you can see here. It takes some time to come up um, 
to to cycle and if I go really low it has basically nothing to do with a square wave anymore which makes it unusable for most projects if I now change the duty cycle it also cha changes stuff the amplitude and offset only works for sine and triangle wave so here you can see at the top the square wave and at the bottom you can see how it is in really a magnified view but you can see it's okay but could be even cleaner but that's uh, manageable but now if you increase frequency it is also but now if we decrease duty cycle it's gone and now just disappears but yeah yeah so the potentiometer caps don't hold on this thingy which is weird but i don't know it doesn't really matter the sine and triangle don't work for me it's probably because i soldered something wrong or because of the set is um broken but yeah that's not the problem because of the set it's just my my type yeah the duty cycle weirdly affects um the frequency as well which is really not usable in in reality because you want a fixed and just change the duty cycle for example for if you want to control the servo motor um yeah the wave at high frequencies is not that beautiful but it's manageable i mean for the price it's okay and yeah these frequencies given on the board don't really um are not correct some on the internet say they're okay but mine are not really accurate i might show a table where or how bad they are in reality and one thing i want to add these small potentiometers for me don't even do anything they do have something but they don't make something magically work for example like the sine and triangle which should be the case but isn't so i don't know yeah so i will definitely send this product back because i'm not happy with it um yeah i hope you enjoy and take something out of this video um yeah bye